discover one of the, I can say, unlimited secrets that we can find every time we visit this amazing house. We are, I'm now actually in, in, a, in, in one of the most extended part of the house, which is the staircase of the neighborhood. Uh, family Badio, they, they bought the, this house, Jose Badio, um, in 1903. It was a former building from 1877, and Anthony Gaudi transformed this amazing place in the house we are, we are going to visit right now. So in this staircase where I am, the neighborhood they used to go. But the family that you, they used to live, of course, as the owners and, and, and the more wealthy family of the house, in the main floor, in the principal floor. So today we're going to do a very special visit. We're going to use one of our uh, smart guys devices to see part of the augmented reality elements that we can also can support us to understand this house and also to imagine uh, in real uh, screen uh, what imagine uh, what imagine can be probably imagine for this house. So let's start our visit. Well, of course, this is not a stand a standard visit of the house. But we're going to show you some of the experience that you can visit when you come to Casa Mayor physically. Well, here we are in the beginning of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the itinerary that most of the visitors, or all the visitors, they, they, they experience. And in this amazing place, this, uh, this is the reception of the family that just house. As we can see, we are in a very curved shaped place because for Anthony Gaudi, since he was inspired of nature and he knew that the straight line in nature doesn't exist, or that's what he thought, um, he tried to put any single line in a, as a curved one. So in these walls and in this ceiling, he put all this imaginary base of nature to create this kind of, of, of shell uh, to um, to I'm going to say, to give us an impression of a starting a submarine experience. Most of the elements that we're going to see are inspired on uh, maritime nature. So if you, come, if you come closer, you can see some of these uh, elements. So in here, in this part of the room, I can show you two of them. One of them is over there, which are the, the, the shapes of, the, um, of a turtle, but also the walls that are made of a stucco, they also try to figure these uh, shapes. So these irregular lines were, were made handmade. So well, before the stucco um, was solid, so the artisans, they carved the, these lines and they put another uh, more clear color of the stucco in the walls. And then they protected the walls with this um, wine scot. They are made by, uh, by wood, with wood, so wood made. So these are to protect, but also to give the, in the environment a warm place, so make it more uh, comfortable. So, but also, um, he, he was an obsessed of the light, so Anthony Gaudi wanted to put the, the natural light all around the building, even here, uh, five floors before the top of the, of the roof. And one of these techniques that he used were having these um, uh, kind of windows, when they, they actually they were windows, and these windows, Attract the light. So we're once when when once we go upstairs, we're gonna see some of the components from the other side. So he wanted to have the natural light coming from the top to the bottom uh, to the building. So we're now, now we are going upstairs to visit the family that just uh, flat. Actually, our visitors they can 
they can visit all, all the, the family that you have. And uh, last but not least, let me show you in this screen how the, how the, how the room was before the restoration. As you can see, there are not wine scots, and uh, this augmented reality device helped the people to, to imagine all these maritime and, uh, elements. So it was also, uh, there's an explanation in the audio guide, in the audio of the smart guides. So you are not alone when you visit the house. Uh, well, yes, you are technically alone, more or less. But with your headphones, you can experience at your own pace this amazing work of art. And talking about pace, let's go upstairs. And while we go upstairs, we can observe the, the shapes, the wood shapes that Anthony Gaudi put on this stair. These, uh, we can imagine this as a dinosaur or uh, an skeleton. So I will close my mouth and let you to enjoy this amazing stair. This is the lobby of the office of Mr. Batyo. So if that was elegant at the entrance, this is another place of magic and of uh, for welcome the people that came to visit the family Batyo, but also the uh, Mr. Batyo's office. In this room, we have these two amazing windows. And these windows were part of the techniques that Anthony Gaudi used for having natural light from the top of the building. So. Here are just transparent white color to attract the light and to, 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 to light this, this building, this part of the house. And also he put all, all those hooks for hanging uh, tapestry, uh, mirrors, and other um, frames, for instance, uh, for pictures, for photographs. If we see in this historical picture from 1927, we can see how the room was furbished. Um, at that time. So we can see on top of the chairs, the lamp, and also you can see here there is a, a frame hanging from a hook. And yeah, it's based on historical documents as this one, the architects they can intervene the property on a more accurate way. So visitors, they after this uh, room, they join what is or what was the Mr. Uh, Giuseppe Dio office. So come. Well, Giuseppe Dio was a very very wealthy man, and because of that, he wanted that his office would be as luxurious as he wanted to show it to his partners. So in this room, it's, it's probably the darkest room in the house, but also is one of the most luxurious ones. Why? Because all the lines that you can see in the ceiling and the walls are made of paper gold. So the technique of the stucco was also implemented here, but they added these lines, very straight lines, but um, shape, uh, weird lines, we have to say, made of paper gold. So, and because of the shape was not flat but curved, once you move from one place to another, you can see how the light makes uh, the gold shine in a different, in a different way. So, the camera that what I love of Instagram because the camera can capture these changes in the in the brilliance of the of the gold, especially in the in the columns, as this one. When you watch from one angle to the other one, you can see this gold um, changing the color and the tone, and also the ceiling because of the lamp. We can also appreciate this. Um, transformation of the, of the light in this uh, color, in this, in this gold color. And another amazing example of uh, the transformation that Anthony Gaudi did in this building is this fireplace. So the fireplace was, of course, a place for having uh, that kind of heating at that time, 
but also for giving an experience for having a meeting, which is something that we're going to do now. So we were, people were able to come inside here and to uh, enjoy next to the fireplace and to have a discussion, probably talking about business and uh, so on and so forth. And also Anthony Gaudi, he put uh, this gold paper in these uh, the unions of the, of the ceramics. So and these ceramics are made of the refractory, I don't know if that's a word in English, refractory ceramic, just for having the, <coughs> sorry, the heat from the fireplace. And the, of course, it's, it's the original one. You can even to see the seal of the of the factory where this was made. It's a, it's an incredible that it, it's already preserved more than a hundred years later. Well, so um, since the inspiration of Anthony Gaudi was the nature, in our video guide also we have this. Um, yeah, sorry. Now it's working. Yeah, here it is. So in the mobile device, the visitors, they can see the fire in the fireplace and also the shape of the mushroom that inspired Anthony Gaudi to do this fireplace. Very interesting uh, phenomenon. And talking about phenomena, we are going to show you another example of the management of light. It's hard to understand how can we manage something that is intangible as a light. But Anthony Gaudi did it in a very extraordinary way. If you cross this door, which let us go to the uh, room that is uh, um, in the facade of the building, we can see the change of the colors of the stained glasses that are at the top. So you will see them uh, change from the pink, purple, and violet to a more, uh, in a very different one. So just remember the colors, remember the frame that you're going to enter, cross it, and turn back. 